Okay, I want to do a quick recap of last night's game, uh, Canucks game against uh, the Islanders. I was fortunate enough to go. It was 50% capacity. And I, I have to say I wasn't disappointed. Halak disappointed me. Uh, Canucks led in the first five goals. And Halak, I say, uh, should have been playing for three of them. Then Paul Demko comes in and he was he was solid. Like when Demko's in the net, I, I feel safe. I, I feel like comfortable. Like he's a stronghold. He's he's gonna he's gonna make saves for us. When Halak, especially after like that third goal when I was like every shot's gonna go in. Anyway, yeah, Ekman Larson stepped up as well. I thought Ekman Larson and Myers, that pairing looked shaky. Um Yulsen, he was he was to blame for a couple goals. I thought Burroughs had a quietly decent game and Brad Hunt overall had a really good game. And uh, on the hockey stat cards, he had one of the highest scores at, at 2.3 or something. So so good for him. Uh, Pedersen, again, had a strong game. He scored a natural power forward, basically, from the corner. Pod Colson kept the puck in. And Pedersen kind of jammed it in. It was, I want to see more goals like that, not just pretty passing plays. PD needs to shoot. Pod Colson was fantastic. Um, he he's getting better, and you, like if he even if he doesn't get points, Pod Colson just with this play on the ice and how physical he is and how strong he is on the puck, able to win puck battles and gain zone entries without just dumping it in. That's a huge asset for us. Um, yeah, like I said, Ekman Larson stepped up. Luke Shen another goal. Luke Chen's been fantastic. If we do trade him, I think we'll get a good asset, but he will be a perfect top six option. I think we're definitely missing Pullman. Uh, I know a lot of Canucks fans don't want to admit that, but they are. And definitely missing Hughes, that's for sure. But what are we going to do? We have to play one more game against the Leafs without him. So there's that. Um, what else? Oh, refing was awful, atrocious. That, that four-minute uh, call on JT Miller for getting slew-footed and then his stick came up. If he wasn't slew-footed, that stick doesn't come up. So it should be a power play, at least four on four. Change momentum. I thought Sorokin played really well after the second period. Canucks should have scored that four, at least a fourth goal in the second when Pod Coles and Hoglander and Pedersen were just mesmerizing. And, and, and Garland, too. Gar Garland, I cannot... I don't have enough words to say how silky and smooth where we 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 cannot fans we love Connor Garland Connor Garland we love you. Um yeah, Demko was solid. I thought the third we pushed back hard, Myers, Ekman Larson and Chase on should have scored. Chase on again. I I don't really like the guy and he should have scored. He didn't really do much else in the game, but he's gotta score that. Nice little play, um basically a backdoor play from Dowling. And then it's it's a one on one. You've got to score that. Put it in far side. He puts it right at the keeper. Basically, what a fourth liner would do. But if we got that goal, we have a dis different story. Again, we have a different story if Tyler Myers doesn't cough out the puck. He looked tired uh, at, at around the ten minute mark. He started skating skating slower. Puck was just dumped out. It's like a nothing play. Myers wins the battle. Then he gets stick lifted by Casey Tzizikas. Then he falls down and he tries to. Block it with a stick. Zizikas with a nice pass to Martin. And Demko almost had that puck. Absolute game changer. And yeah, that's that's when our, the wind was knocked out of our sails. Uh, we lost 6-3. Uh, honestly, yeah, after winning against Arizona the night before, if we won that game, that's two, four huge points. Now, the Leafs are, it's a must-win game. I don't care how good they are. They lost tonight as well. But the Canucks need to come out firing. And uh, one more game without Hughes. Demko needs to uh, stay on yeah, yeah, uh, stay on his head. And the top guys need to keep on going. We need we are I'm loving the defense production though. I think uh who's it? Hunt got an assist as well on on uh, Luke Shen's goal. And I'm glad Garland's picking up points too. But yeah, the Canucks they are running out of games. I still believe in this team. I believe in Bruce and I believe in Rutherford's direction of the team. I think I'm not sure what's going to happen to Miller. Uh, Garland's staying for sure. I'm not sure what's going to happen to Besser or Shen or Halak. <laughs> Boy, if, if, if Demko or Spencer Martin even played tonight, we would uh, not tonight, yesterday, we win this game. 
Anyway, thanks, Andy, for the tickets yesterday. I don't regret a thing. I thought the fans were fantastic. Shout out to the kids. I made a comment on the highlight video for the game. But shout out to the, the junior hockey kids, I think it was. They were fantastic. It, it was it was awesome to cheer with them. And quite a rowdy crowd. It, it, was, it was very interesting. But yeah, that's it for this, uh, this video. Canucks need to win against the Leafs. Pedersen, I'm glad he's stepping it up. So that that's good. So yeah, go Canucks go and let's win on Saturday.